our focus today is mobility, okay? And the thing with mobility is we have it, but we don't work on it. And so it's something that I think is missed a lot. And it's something that as we get older, the mobility in our body, our joints, our muscles, it doesn't move the way that they should. The fascia gets tight, things don't move well, the joints don't work as well as they should, nothing slides like it should. So it's really important that we work on our mobility. And we don't think about it until we lose it. And then we think, oh, I should have, I should have done this. So I'm gonna give you a couple things that you can do at home to work on your mobility, okay? I do have a chair here for one of the exercises. You'll need something to hold on to, um, to put your hand on, but um, other than that, and I have a five pound weight. If you don't have those, that's fine. You can do the exercises without. It just helps to have um, these uh, props with you, okay? It gives you some focus for the mobility work that we're doing. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna work on our ankle mobility. So ankle mobility is really important. If your ankles aren't mobile, you can't walk properly. If you can't walk properly, you run into some issues as you, especially as you get older, but even if you're younger. So we want to make sure that we have lots of range of motion in our ankles. And um, this is something we have to work on because I think that we forget about it, especially since we wear shoes a lot. Um, and we're not barefoot, so our feet don't do what they're supposed to. And they're restricted by the shoes. But that's a to totally different video. Um, so we're going to start with our left foot forward, okay? And I'm going to do the standing. You can do it from the ground, kneeling, but it's fine to do standing. So what I want you to do is all you're going to do is you're going to shift your weight forward and then back. So you really, it's not a lot. It's just getting some mobility and movement in that ankle joint, okay? So you shouldn't feel this on your knees. So I'm not, I'm not going all the way forward like this, okay? I'm got a lot of weight in the back leg and I'm just maneuvering that ankle and I'm going forwards and backwards. Okay. That's all I'm doing. So it's a tiny little shift. I'll show you from the front. It's just a tiny little shift. Okay. So I'm not really, I'm bending my knee and straightening it basically. Right. But I want my ankle to get involved. If you're doing this from the ground, I'm going to show you from the ground so you can decide which position you want. You're going to be sitting on one of your feet and then you're going to have this foot in front of you. It, you get a little bit more rocking motion this way and um, you get a little bit more here um, without putting any pressure on your knee as far as weight wise. Okay. Now, if this is not a position that you can do, that's perfectly fine. You also can do it in a seated position um, and that's fine. So, but all you want to do is you want to make that ankle move. Yeah. Okay, so do it four or five times. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn your foot out, but the knee is forward. And I want you to, again, get the ankle moving, all right? Yeah, so I don't want you to open your hip. I want the hip to stay there. I want the ankle to turn, the foot to turn, okay? And then four or five there, then you're gonna turn it in, same thing. I don't really want your knee to go like this, right? I want your knee to press forward. And you might not have any range of motion. This is the possibility is that you literally are like, I can't do anything. Great. No problem. Just send the message to the muscles. Just send the message to the ankle joint that you want it to move. Okay. It might not do anything at all. Many of us um, switch sides. Like I said, we don't train our mobility. So foot pointing forward and then just rock gently, right? Bend that knee and get that ankle joint moving and bring it all the way back. So you want it to move. Many of us have very, very restricted motion and movement in our ankles. So most of my clients, the biggest problem they have is they have no ankle mobility. So turn your foot out and same knee forward. So it will feel like your arch is going to collapse. It's okay. So you might have trouble squatting. Your knees might come in. You might have trouble going up the stairs. You might have trouble walking. You might have pain in your heel. Switch, and now we're gonna bring the ankle, the toe foot pointing in, knee pointing out. This one is definitely the hardest one for me. But um, you might have all these problems, but a lot of the issues that you have stem from your lack of mobility in your ankle. And, you know, for people, one more, um, as far as life is concerned, we need five degrees of um, range of motion here. So this angle from here to here 
is five degrees for walking and most people have two. So you, the basics of walking, which is rolling from heel to toe and pushing off the toe, you actually don't do that because of range of motion in your ankle. So if you improve the range of motion in your ankle, you'll improve a lot of the other problems you may currently have in your body. Okay. Again, a different video. I could talk to you about this forever. If you're interested, I, uh, I'm happy to send you information. So now we're going to do hips. Okay. So what we're going to do is you're going to sit on the floor. Okay. And you may put your hands behind you if you like. And what you're going to do is you're just going to allow your hips to rock side to side. Okay. Yep. Side to side. Okay. And one. You can do them together, and then I want you to alternate, and then do left, and then right. So ideally, what should happen is that both of your hips should come down like this with no difficulty at all. And then you come up, and they should go both down with no difficulty at all. So you can see my left side super tight. I can't get my leg to the ground. That And it doesn't matter if you can or you can't. If all you're doing is this, it doesn't really matter because you're getting some movement in your hip. All right. You may also do this with your legs a little bit farther apart, but you won't get as much um, movement in the hip as you will if you're able to keep your knees bent. OK, the other option is you can just do one side and then come up. You can leave even the other the left leg down and then lift this one up. Do this four or five times. OK, and then switch sides. That leg is down and I'm twisting and just let your body go with it. So let your body move because we want to get some range of motion in there. So allow your body to go with it. Okay. Don't, don't hold the position, um, so that your, your body's not moving, allow it to twist. And if it wants to twist down this way, as you open, that's fine as well. Do that. Okay. Because it's really important that we get the hips moving because they are also, you know, a part of the body that needs to have a lot of range of motion. So our, our ankles give us mobility. Our knees give us stability and our hips give us mobility. And that is, that is the job of those parts of the body. And if one of those doesn't work, it affects everything else. Okay. All right. So now we're going to do, um, some wrist stuff. Okay. So similar to the ankle one. Okay. All you're going to do is put your wrists on the ground and you're going to come forward and release. Come forward and release. So you can do it. I'm sitting back on my heels. If you want to do it in a quad position, that's fine. Come forward and back and forward and back. And then you're going to turn your hand in. Same thing. Back and forth. But you want to try and have your shoulder and chest pointing forward as you do this rocking motion. Okay. So again, four or five and then turn your hand out. Good. Same thing. And then we're going to do the other one, which is probably the worst one. Gentle, gentle. Don't put a lot of weight. I have the weight in my legs and in my other wrists. All you're going to do is you turn your hand upside down. Yep, that's it. And maybe you're not even quadruped. Maybe you're just here beside you. It's gentle. Be very gentle. There's a lot going on in your hand and wrist. Good. And you're just going to hold it here for five or ten seconds. And then you're going to gently bend your fingers. And bring your wrist off the ground. And we're gonna do the other side, okay? So gently, nice and gentle. This is very gentle. So whenever you do any kind of stretching or mobility work, I always want you to be gentle. Okay, turn your hand in and shoulder and everything is forward, right? So be very, very kind to your body. You may have never ever turned your hand out, stretched your wrist like this. Don't put a lot of weight. Most of my weight is in my hands, my other hand and my knees. Okay. It's holding the most, the majority of the weight. Good. Okay. So now we're going to do the other one. This is a bad wrist. This is my bad wrist. So I'm going to be very gentle here. There is no pressure. I have all my weight in my legs and my other arm. I'm just resting my hand on the ground. Okay. And then you're going to gently bend your fingers, bend your knuckles, and then come out of that wrist stretch. Okay. So it's, you're not loading it heavy, right? Same as the foot. You're not loading the foot. When you do the ankle work, you're just moving the joint. Okay. 
So now we're going to do a thoracic rotation. So thoracic is your upper body. So what you're going to do, you're going to be in hands and knees position. I'm going to take my right arm and I'm going to thread it under my body as low to the ground as possible. And then I'm going to open and follow it with my head. Okay. You may kneel if you like. You can do this from standing. Okay. Good. Let me show you from standing. Oh, I was going to be doing the other side, but that's okay. So I'm leaning on the chair. I'm here. Okay. And all I'm doing is going under and then I'm opening. The problem with standing is you want to get more of your hips involved and you won't be able to thread through on the bottom as much as you can when you're on the ground. So if you can be down here, I'm going to do three more here and then we'll go to the other side. If you can be on your hands and knees, I strongly recommend that you do this. Get your shoulder as close to the ground as possible and then open. So again, our thoracic spine, we should be able to open all the way. Okay. But because of life and not training, mobility, injury, you, uh, we don't do it as, as well as we should be able to. So this, this is the left side that I'm going to do, which is my really bad shoulder. So we shall see what happens here and what my range of motion is. So I'm going to thread this left arm through, right? Shoulder all the way down to the ground and then open. Oh, not so bad. Not, not as bad as I expected. Good. And three. So you can do five or 10 of these nice and slow. See how it feels. The first time you do mobility work, your body might be really angry. Last one. It might not like it and you might not get too much range of motion, but that's okay. That's why we're practicing it, right? Okay. So now we're going to do shoulder. Shoulder is really important. Um, it's a part of our body that can get injured really easily, but we use for things that we shouldn't really use it for. <laughs> so, so I have a five pound dumbbell that I'm going to hold here and I have my chair. All I'm going to do is lean on the chair and I'm going to hold the dumbbell here. What I want to do is I want to make a circle with my hips and just allow my shoulder to do whatever it wants. I'm not moving with my shoulder. I'm moving with my legs. Okay. So five rotations in one direction. Good. And then other direction. So my hips are not, my, my hips are doing the work, right? My legs are doing the work. My arm is just for the, here for the ride. So I'm not guiding it with, I'm not moving my arm. It's doing it on its own. Okay. And I'm going to switch to the other side. Okay. Let me switch my chair so you can see me. Okay. So this arm just hangs and I'm going to move my hips and then the weight goes with it. Okay. Other direction. That's why I use the weight because you can actually feel whether you're moving it and you can also feel it pulling on the shoulder. Okay. So that's a great thing to do for shoulder mobility. All right. And then the last one we're going to do is the neck. Okay. Oh no, I'm lying. We're going to do two more. So neck, just gently, you're going to bring your ear to your shoulder. And then, so I'm doing the right side. I'm going to extend my left arm on the floor. So I get a nice stretch here. And then I'm going to slowly turn and look at the ground. Nice and gentle. Always be gentle when you're doing mobility work. Definitely with the neck. Nothing fast. And then turn and rotate to the ceiling. So I'm still trying to get my ear towards my shoulder as I'm looking up. And this arm is extended. It just gives a little bit extra here. Okay. And gently come out of that and we'll go to the other side. So shoulder, ear to shoulder, stretch out that opposite hand and gently rotate your neck down, your face down. So you're looking at the ground or look at your armpit and then gently rotate up while you're trying to keep that ear towards the shoulder. Good and relax. So we're going to do one more exercise 
hair, which I love. If you work out with me, you know I love this. It's cat and cow, so this is for the back and the abdominals, spine work, hips, shoulders. Lots of things are happening here. So what you're going to do is you're going to round your back and push through your arms and your legs. And then you're going to exhale and you're going to arch your back and lift your head gently. Okay, good. Again, round your back, drop your head, stretch through your arms. Good. Exhale. Give me three more. Inhale. Round your back. Exhale. Arch. Good. Inhale, round. Exhale, arch. One more. Inhale, round. And exhale, arch your back. So there is a there is your mobility workout. There are some exercises that you can practice. I encourage you to practice them every single day. Um, it just helps keep everything moving. If you have questions, please feel free to reach out.